Book, courtesy of LMX. And that's not all, of course, because you filled loads of hexagons, you actually take £105 each Ooh. away with you. Thank you very much indeed, Jill and Mel. Thank you for <laughs> thank playing you. Blockbusters. Thank you. So, Ben, you're going to have another gold run. What, what was it like when you went out to the hotspot? What did that feel like? Um, a mix between nervousness and excitement. But you kind of need those nerves, don't you, to get you through. Yeah. And then you got there and you got the HDTV. Where's that going to go? It's, I think it's going in the kitchen, isn't it? Right. Is that where your wife would like it to be? That's where Donna wants it to go. OK. If that's where she wants it, that's where it's going to have to go. But we're going to have to wait until next time to see how you do because we've run out of time for now. Join us again where we'll see if Ben can make it from goal to gold for a second time. Until then, goodbye. Take control of your television next as our contestants take control of the board because there's more blockbusters coming up. We days at five, all the A's, arrows, archers and a proper array of retro prizes. But you've got to hit that B to win. It's bullseye. Give us a clickety-click if you can still hear us. Mecha Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. Pets aren't just animals, they're part of our story. Our bedtime guardians. <laughs> our personal trainers. Our travel companions. Our work besties. Our snuggle buddies. Our family. And that's why we exist. With cover to suit your budget, Animal Friends is here so you can create more stories together. Plus, every pet policy comes with an added purpose, helping us donate millions to animal welfare charities worldwide. Animal Friends, because all good stories start with a tale. Get a quote today at animalfriends.co.uk. Wow, someone's going out in style. You know, I've been thinking about my funeral. Have you? Yes, I don't want one. Oh? No one likes them, do they? And I don't want any fuss. I do want this. Pure cremation. They'll take care of the practical bit and bring my ashes back home. But... It's great value, and I can pay for it all now, and there are no hidden costs. And yes, I did look at the reviews. See? Oh, yeah. I'd like to get it all sorted out now. I just don't want you to have all that stress when I go. Oh, Mum. Always looking out for us. <laughs> Find out why the UK's best-selling plan is the simple, affordable, pure cremation plan. Chat to our lovely people by calling now on 0800 177 7790 or visit purecremation.tv. You do all sorts of things when you're a parent. <laughs> Bomb disposal. Spit washing. Taking out life insurance. Hello, welcome to Smart Life Insurance. You're speaking to Kate. How can I help? Hi, I'd like to get a quote, please. OK, as long as you're a UK resident, aged 18 to 64, you can apply for a benefit amount up to £750,000. That's great. There's no medical or blood test, just a few health and lifestyle questions. For a quick quote, all I need to know is your age and if you smoke. Uh, yeah, I'm 32 and I don't smoke. Well then, £100,000 of life insurance cover could start at just £6.89 a month in the first year. That's less than I thought. <laughs> and with that money, we could pay off the mortgage. And with Smart Cashback, you'll get 10% of your first year's premiums back after 12 months. Sounds great. I'll go ahead. With a 100% advance for terminal illness and a straightforward claims process, life insurance is the smart way to help protect your family's financial future. Our service is rated excellent by Trustpilot. Plus, when you take out a policy, you'll get your choice of a free £100 gift card. Right, what's next on the agenda? <laughs> Laundry. To get a quote today, call our friendly UK team on 0800 912 1586 or visit smartinsurance.co.uk. With Sky Store, you're in for an out-of-this-world adventure. The Guardians of the Galaxy have no place in my world.
kiss your mom with that face? Some corners of the universe consider him God. It's a face-off. Yeah! Well, I guess we'll die trying. I decided I try and ain't our thing no more. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Available now in Sky Store. If you needed a reason to stay with us, then we've got a million of them. Chris is here to play Classic Millionaire. Weeknights at 10, new on Challenge. Fifty-eight, you've made us wait long enough. What's your final answer? Mecha Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. Blockbusters with your host Simon Mayo. Hello, and welcome to all new Blockbusters. It's the game where one player takes on two in attempting to make their way across the Blockbusters board. Our solo player hoping to connect white to white, top to bottom, and our pair across the board, blue to blue. Our current champion Ben from Bridge End will face his second gold run in a moment, but first. Please welcome his new opponents, Natalie and Jonathan from Rotherham, their father and daughter. <laughs> Natalie and Jonathan, you're very welcome. Ben, you have new opponents. Uh, Natalie and Jonathan, we'll talk to you in just a moment. Ben, we're going to start the show with one of these gold runs. Now, you're pretty good at the last one. Well, one out of one ain't bad. <laughs> yes, one out of one. Should we try and make it two out of two? That'd be great, thank you. Put yourself on the hot spot. Ben, there is your gold run board. You have 60 seconds to make your way across, connecting left to right, gold to gold. If you make it to the other side, you'll win your second gold run prize. You can pass on any question, and your time starts as soon as you tell me where you'd like to begin. CB. Early morning meal of grilled, fried and toasted assortment. For breakfast. Correct. WL. A patient's name is put on this when in the queue for an operation date. Waiting list. Yes. VA. Icelandic eruption in 2010. Volcanic ash. Correct. VC. A seemingly unending nasty chain of events going round and round remaining unsolved. Vicious circle. BE. Correct. Stage production featuring Elton John's music and the story of a boy who was born to dance. <laughs> uh, Billy Elliot. Is right. <laughs> of course it's right. That's a gold run. <laughs> And this is what you've won. After your second gold run, you've definitely shown off what you can do. Well, now you're really going to get a chance to show off as you've won a sports car driving experience. Courtesy of buyagift.com, you'll soon be behind the wheel of one of the planet's true supercars. Make sure you buckle up as you hit top speed with this prize. Like the look of that. Thank you very much. I love driving. Are you? You're a bit of a petrol head. Uh, yeah, two speeding fines in one day is pretty good. Well, you're going to be uh, enjoying that. And just out of interest, when you kind of hesitated just before saying Billy Elliot, were you just doing that to be dramatic or did it just... No, live? I just thought it might have been The Lion King, but I realised it didn't begin with B. Well, he did the... <laughs> which is the clue. And you did it in 33 seconds. Oh, wow. Which was extraordinarily fast. You passed on no questions at all. Ben, congratulations. Back to you. Thank you, sir. And with Ben back in his suit, let's meet and find out some more about Natalie and Jonathan, his next opponents. You're very welcome to the show. We know you're from Rotherham. Uh, Jonathan, you're a primary school teacher. That's right, yes. Yeah. I've been teaching six years. And you also do a little bit of radio work, is that true? Yes, yeah. I volunteer for the local hospital radio station, Radio Nightingale. And what do you do on that? Uh, I've done the voiceovers for the uh, uh, programme jingles and so on, and I'm just about to host one of their... Uh, evening shows called The Love Train. I see. Is that through the night? With it, the... It's uh, a 10 till 12 slot, yes. With love songs from Jonathan. Classic love songs with me, John Taylor. <laughs> and Natalie, you're 19 mm -hmm. and you're a shop assistant? Yeah. And have you heard your dad's radio work? No, I haven't. Uh, I've not been in hospital, luckily, so I haven't had to hear it. So. Does he not bring home sort of tapes of 
his show so that you can just listen to various segues that he's done. No, he hasn't, but I'll be intrigued to listen in the future, I guess. <laughs> Jonathan, pick up the tips. That's what <laughs> I always used to do. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I need to do. Well, you're very welcome to the show. Okay, uh, you're up you. against Ben, and you know that he's a very, very good champion. Yeah. yeah. You're going to have to be very sharp. On with the game. You know how it works. Here's the next board. We have an H flashing. That's where we're going to start. Let's play Blockbusters. <laughs> What H on the Gulf of Mexico is the capital city of Cuba? Jonathan. Oh, Honduras? It's the wrong answer. Oh. Ben, what H on the Gulf of Mexico is the capital city of Cuba? Havana. Havana is right, yes. You're on the board. <laughs> Would you like next, Ben? I'll have a J, please, Simon. What J is a city in Rajasthan, India, which gave its name to a style... Jonathan. Jakarta. Is the wrong answer. Full question to Ben. What J is a city in Rajasthan, India, which gave its name to a style of riding trousers? Jumpers? The answer is Jodhpur, but I'll accept that. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Where'd you like to go next? Well, it's got to be done, Simon. I really would like to have a pee. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Still works for me. What P is the long tube that transports oil or other liquids over... Yes, Ben? Pipeline. Other liquids over long distances. Pipeline is right. Yes, well done. <laughs> that looks like a flashing white board. One hexagon away from Blockbusters. The pressure is on, Jonathan mm -hmm. and Natalie. I'll have a W, please. Okay. W down the bottom of the board. What W is a large carnivore of the weasel family and the steel-clawed character in X-Men films... Ben. Wolverine. Played by Hugh Jackman, Wolverine is right, that is Blockbusters! <laughs> well done, Ben. Thank you. Yeah. That's another good game. Jonathan and Natalie, the pressure is on you. Obviously, yeah. it's the best of three. Yep. So that means that you have to win this next game. Uh, Jonathan, so we know that you teach, uh, we know that you do a little bit of radio work as well, and you like to act? Yes, yes, I would uh, perform in a musical performance every year, every November, with my local society. And you're, I think it's Beauty and the Beast that you're doing at the moment. Yes, I'm Cogs with the Clock. The role involves me having a, a full uh, clock face painted on, and then my costume is a large cabinet box with a swinging pendulum on the front. That sounds like a pretty extraordinary costume. <laughs> OK, well, look, we wish you all the best, Jonathan, Natalie, and Thank you. Ben uh, as well. Thank it's you. time to move on, and here's the next board. OK, we have an R flashing. That's where we're going to start. Let's play Blockbusters. <laughs> what R is a small, festive songbird? Natalie. Is it Robin? It is a Robin, yes. Well done, you're on the board. <laughs> it's gone blue. <laughs> well done. Huge sense of relief <laughs> that you've got the one there. OK, where I've would you like to go it. next? T? Yeah. Um, can we have a T, please? Yes. What T is the sound made by non-digital clocks? <laughs> Natalie. Tick. Yes, I can accept that. Tick or tock or tick tock. <laughs> well done. <laughs> On a roll now. <laughs> OK, where do you want to go? Can we have an S for Simon, please, Simon? <laughs> Certainly can. What S is the villainess of Cinderella and of many fairy tales? <laughs> Natalie. Stepmother. Stepmother is right, yes, <laughs> three in a row. <laughs> Very good. That board's looking slightly nice for you. <laughs> can I have an F, please? Yes. What F is another name for expressway in America? <laughs> ben. Freeway. Freeway is right, yes, you're on the board. <laughs> Spoilt their plan, well done, Ben. Where do you want to go next? I'll take the E, please, Simon. What E is an upright tripod used to support an artist's canvas? <laughs> Jonathan. An easel. Easel is right, yes, well done. <laughs> Play back with you, where would you like to go? I'll have an A, please. What A is the disease that makes breathing difficult? <laughs> Ben. Asthma. Asthma is right, yes. 
And where would you like to go next? I'd like a U, please. What U is a spacecraft without a crew? Jonathan. Unmanned? Unmanned is right. Yes, well done. P? Where would you like to oh, go next? Um, okay. yeah. uh, B, please. Sorry, okay. thank you. She's quite useful, isn't she? <laughs> has, has, a, has a uses, definitely. What B was the surname of the literary family whose home was the parsonage in Howarth... Jonathan. Bronte. Howarth, North Yorkshire. Bronte is the right <laughs> answer. <laughs> Got a flashing blue board. One hexagon away from blockbusters. This is feeling like a nicer game for you. This is... <laughs> ben, they're warmed up. Yep, they're good. <laughs> OK. Yeah. Where would you like to go, Jonathan and Natalie? Simon, it's just got to be done again. I really need a P. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. What P was the surname of Sylvia and Christabel and their mother, Emmeline, prominent suffragettes in the early 20th century? Jonathan. Pankhurst. Pankhurst is right, yes. yes. Well done. That's Blockbuster. <laughs> now, that, how different was that? I like that game. <laughs> it was a lot yeah. nicer. <laughs> First game, should we just forget about it? <laughs> yeah. We'll Second just... game, never happened. let's talk about that. <laughs> Definitely. I think it's one of our better moments. I think you're absolutely right. So, Ben... We get to that moment where, you know, it's the best of three, but that means that you need to win the next game, otherwise you'll be going home to Bridge End. So we wish you all the best. But before we can find out who goes on to the next gold run, Ben or Natalie and Jonathan, we're going to take a pause, so we'll see you after the break. <laughs> 22, you'll be good at this one. <laughs> It's competition time. How would you like to win £7,000 cash? This is our brand new competition with a huge jackpot of £7,000 in tax-free cash. For your chance to win £7,000, you must find the TV programme we've hidden in this letter grid. Here's a little hint. The hidden TV programme is about a doctor that flies through space and time in a TARDIS. Calls will only last one minute. To win £7,000, you will have 60 seconds from now to try and find the hidden TV programme. Once you've spotted it, call the competition entry line on screen for your chance to win £7,000. Keep looking for the hidden TV programme. Remember, calls will last only one minute for your chance to win £7,000. You could also win an additional £3,000 by finding the name of a planet we have also hidden in the letter grid. Find both words and £10,000 could be yours. Over 18s only. Full T&Cs at www.winfall.co.uk. Keep looking as we're nearly out of time. Try and find the hidden TV programme in the grid for the chance to win £7,000 cash. Remember, there's also the name of a planet hidden in the grid. If you can find the hidden planet, you can win an additional prize of £3,000 cash. Enter by calling the competition entry line on screen. I hope you found the TV programme hidden in the grid. Good luck! Every Cotswold Company sofa is handcrafted in the UK with a solid wood frame guaranteed for 15 years and flexible finance options including three years interest-free credit. Bring your home to life with the perfect sofa. The Cotswold Company. Discover our range in your nearest store or at cotswoldco.com. Why limit your taste buds? That's no fun. There's Vimto flavours for everyone. Vimto. Find your different. Ready or not, Granny? As you get older, you start to worry about who's going to look out for them after you're, you know, gone. That's why I've decided to get a quote from British Seniors, the over 50s life insurance specialists. Welcome to British Seniors. How can I help? Hi, I'd like to get a quote, please. Because you're a UK resident aged between 50 and 80, you're guaranteed to be accepted. Hmm. You can get a guaranteed cash payout up to £10,000. With 100% of claims paid, prices start from just £4.32 a month for £1,000 of cover. Are there are no medicals or blood tests, and I can arrange everything over the phone now. Plus, when you take out a policy, you get a free £125 gift card. Well, that's cheaper than I thought. There might even be some left over as a gift for the... Thank 
you. Grandkids. My turn. <laughs> I'll go ahead. British seniors are proud to protect thousands of people across the UK. To get a quote today, call our friendly UK team on 0800 470 3665 or search British seniors over 50s. Traditional heritage craft. Crafts that are in danger. Oh. Join us as we meet the generation keeping three of these traditional skills alive. There's only one place to experience every magical moment. Wicked. Sky Cinema Wizarding World. Available now. Number 13. That's unlucky. Now welcome back to Blockbusters, where you join us at one game all. It's the best of three, so let's crack on. And here's the next board. We have a flashing G. That's where we're going to start. Let's play Blockbusters. <laughs> what G are privates in the Royal Artillery and... The... <laughs> ben. Guards. No, incorrect answer. Full question to Natalie and Jonathan. What G are privates in the Royal Artillery and the nickname of Arsenal Football Club? <laughs> yes, Jonathan. I'm not into football, but is it the Grenad uh, Grenadiers? No, it's not the Grenadiers, it's the Gunners. Gunners, sorry. Gunners right, is no, what we wanted. Can. OK, another G. What G was the name of the ancient region of Europe, the home of Asterix and Obelix? <laughs> ben. Goal. Goal is right. Yes, well done on the board. <laughs> Where would you like to go next? I think the L, please, Simon. Okay. What L is the lesser if the tenant is the lessee? <laughs> Jonathan, in just before the time up. Is it the landlord? It is the landlord. Yes, well done. <laughs> You're on the board as well. Where would you like to go next? Okay. Uh, can I have the K, please? What K meaning hidden is one of the noble gases and Superman's home planet? Jonathan. Krypton. Krypton is right, yes. <laughs> Did you, you press the buzzer, then you weren't sure. <laughs> oh, no. I had something else in my head, but Krypton came Krypton out. Krypton is absolutely right, yes. Cool. Where do you want to go next? Because if we get the J, you can see uh, OK. Uh, D, please. What D is a wild or half-domesticated dog with a sandy-coloured coat? <laughs> Jonathan. Dingo? I love the way you do a little bit of uh, percussion. <laughs> then give us the right answer. Yeah. Dingo is right. <laughs> Mainly living in the outback of Australia was the full question, so... Yeah, OK, yeah. that's better one. Uh, can I have a, an H, please, Simon? <laughs> you can, Jonathan. What H is the fish which becomes an Arbroath smoky when caught? Ben. Haddock. And cured on Scotland's east coast. Haddock is right. Yes, well done. <laughs> A blocking white, I think that's called. I'll have an F, please. What F is a unit of distance traditionally... Ben. Furlong. Traditionally associated with horse racing. Furlong is right. Yes, well done. <laughs> He's on a roll. Yeah. We have a flashing white board again. And it's one also. This is a very, very delicate place. Ben may well be going for another gold run, but you can stop him. Have the W, please. What W is the fictitious London district in which. Ben. Walford. In which EastEnders is set. Walford is the right answer. Oh. Well done, Max Blockbusters. <laughs> Ben, why are you shaking your head? <laughs> I'd be so lucky, it's unbelievable. I don't think you get where you are now just by being lucky. Uh, we say goodbye to Natalie and Jonathan. You've been fantastic contenders. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's been great having you on the show. You don't go away empty-handed, of course, because you're taking away our new and very exciting consolation prize. Go digital and read all of your favourite books on the move with your Blockbusters e-book, courtesy of LNX. So you have one of those each. You also have fifty pounds each to take away. You've been great contestants. Thank you very much indeed, Natalie and Jonathan. So Ben, you must be getting used to this. 
Doesn't make it any easier, though, Simon. I'm sure, but you've already got the TV, you've got the driving experience as well. Are you ready for your third gold run? As I'll ever be, mate. You're very used to this. Put yourself on the hotspot. OK, Ben, there's your gold run board. As you know, you have 60 seconds to make your way across, connecting left to right, gold to gold. If you make it to the other side, you'll win your third gold run prize. You can pass on any question, and your time starts as soon as you tell me where you want to begin. SN. Proverbially, a stitch in time. Civ 9. Yes. Or L. The group who set up camp outside St Paul's in the capital in 2011... Occupy London. Correct. BK. The world's tallest building in Dubai featured in Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Pass. SP. A band with a name which sounds as if they're out on duty on wintry roads. Snow Patrol. Correct. Or M. Football club, concert and show souvenirs which have been approved for sale. Official merchandise. Correct. BE. Father of Tamara and Petra, he's the F1 racing boss. Bernie Ecclestone. Is right. That's correct. That's a goal run. <laughs> and this is what you've won for your third prize. After your third gold run, you deserve a bit of a break. You're getting one now with a luxury one-night escape. Courtesy of Smartbox, you can choose from 50 different getaways. From historical manor houses to old English castles, you'll be able to handpick the best break to suit you. Thank you. Ben, thank you. Congratulations. That was another great performance. Right. You just passed on the one... The world's tallest building in Dubai, featured in Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, is the Burj Khalifa. That was what we wanted for that. It doesn't really matter, yeah. because you got the gold one. Congratulations. Back to your seat. Thank you. <laughs> and with Ben triumphant from his third gold run, let's meet his next opponent's sisters, Kate and Amy from Northampton. Is that supposed to endear yourself <laughs> to our current champion? Well, he's had three wins. It's time for him to, you know, step on down. Let us ladies through him. Is that right? Mm. I hope I like so. Talk. <laughs> ladies with attitude. Uh, Kate, you're a drama teacher. Amy, you're a care worker. Yeah. And I mentioned your sister, so how would you describe your relationship? How do you get on? Um, well, it's a lot better now. We get on quite well, but when we were younger, we didn't get on so well. But she went to uni and left me, so we got on a lot better since then. <laughs> Right, so she went away and things were better. Yeah, absolutely. It makes the heart go fonder. Yeah, and <laughs> Kate, you, you say Amy is an acquired taste. What? Yes. <laughs> Did you not know that? No. <laughs> right. So yeah. that really good relationship that you've got now is fragile. <laughs> okay. Well, my nickname for her is still the brat, so. Good. Well, this is, this is going really, really well yeah, so to far. Yeah. Uh, Kate and Amy, wish you all the best. You're up Thank against you a great much. champion here Thank in you. Ben. Best of luck to you, Ben. You know how it all works, of course. Let's have the next board. OK, we have a flashing N. That's where we're going to start. Let's play Blockbusters. <laughs> All the best to Ben and Amy and Kate. What N is the unfortunate girlfriend whom burglar Bill Sykes <laughs> batters... Kate. Nancy. Batters to death in Oliver Twist. Nancy is the right answer. Well done, you're on the board. <laughs> Well done. Where do you want to go next? S. S. Please. <laughs> what S was the nationality of the artists Goya and Picasso? Ben. I'm going to say Spanish. Spanish, always worth a guess, and it's the right answer. <laughs> well, done, Ben, you're on the board. Where do you want to go next? I'll take the A, please. What A is the abbreviation for anything from news travel and sport updates to recipes and gossip for mobiles and tablets. Kate. Apps. Apps is right. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> good, good, good answer. <laughs> Where would you like to go? An O, please. An O. What O is balm? A soothing... N. Oil. It's the wrong answer. Full question to Kate and Amy. What O is balm? A soothing mixture spread on the skin to ease soreness. 
ointment. Ointment is right. Well done. <laughs> Where would you like to go next? Um, can we have an R, please? Certainly. What R is both a developing flower and the name of Citizen Kane's boyhood sled? <laughs> Rosebud is the answer. Mm. Another R. What R is an Italian-style dish of meat, fish or vegetables in a creamy consistency with short grain or arborio... <laughs> ben. Risotto? Uh, yeah, arborio Italian rice. Risotto is the right answer. Well done. <laughs> Yes, Ben. I'll have an F, please. What F is a John Dory? Ben. Fish. Fish is right. Well done. <laughs> yes, Ben, where do you want to go? M, please. What M is an island which has a national symbol of three legs? Ben. Man. Man is the right answer. Well done. So, Ben has a white flashing board, which means he's one away from blockbusters. Will our new challengers, Kate and Amy, be able to stop him in his stride? Find out next time, because that's where we're going to have to leave it for now. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>Are you a thrower or a knower? I am definitely a knower as bounce outs are my darting speciality. Let's play Bullseye next on Challenge. We nights at 10, multiple choice and a possible seven figure payday. Oof, it's Classic Millionaire. Top answer, Mecca Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. Thanks so much. Yeah, my brother's going over now. Well, OK. That was Verishaw Alarms. Someone broke into our house. Really? Verishaw activated zero vision. Burglar ran away. Maybe I should get one. Verishaw Alarms. Get 50% off your zero vision alarm installation and a free video doorbell in store. Call now or visit verishaw.co.uk. Hi, I'm Sue Cook. Like a lot of us recently, I've been looking at the cost of living and ways to save money. One of our biggest expenses is planning a funeral. A traditional service with all its formalities, big shiny cars, crowds of mourners and so on, can cost over £4,000. Not everyone can afford that. But the good news is there's a more straightforward alternative for less than half that price. With a distinct cremations plan, you get a simple cremation free of fuss and with no hidden costs or extra bills to pay. To find out more, call Distinct Cremations for a free guide on 0800 047 3614. The price is fixed as of today, so you won't have to worry about rising prices. And because you're not paying for things you don't really want, the money saved could be spent on remembering you in a more personal way and at a time and place that better suits loved ones. And Distinct Cremations even offer a money-back guarantee. So for a dignified farewell without spending more than you need, call Distinct Cremations for this free guide. You'll be in very good company. To find out more, call Distinct Cremations for a free guide on 0800 047 3614. That's 0800 047 3614. Or visit distinctcremations.co.uk. We were a noisy generation, but it might be something quiet we do that becomes our greatest legacy. Leave a gift in your will to the British Heart Foundation and fund groundbreaking research that could help save millions of lives. Search BHF Wills. Nothing's gone right today Been too much need some calm A onesie is what he seeks It's not been washed for weeks 
With softener built in to make her smile Calming lavender and chamomile Oh, she's found that chilled out zone And now she's not alone Bold lavender and chamomile for a brilliant clean and a calming scent. Always keep away from children. The galaxy still needs its guardians. You're an idiot. I am Groot. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Available now in Sky Store. I'm getting some static from polyester blouses and I can smell the hairspray from here. It must be time to play bullseye on challenge. Sixty-six. Give us a clickety click if you can still hear us. Mecha Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. for watching us this evening and thanks to our studio audience for coming here. Lovely audience. You're going to be great tonight. I know you are. We've, uh, we've had faint suggestions that, uh, that before we actually go on air here, I come in amongst this audience and tell them sort of risque stories. Well, that's not true, is it? No. Of course it's not true. And we don't want that spread about that central television is involved with anything at all like that. I mean, you look a man of integrity and intelligence, sir, <laughs> don't you? I mean, you can endorse that, that I don't tell any stories that are a bit... No, to your suggestion, do I? Definitely not, definitely not. Everything's completely above board. Of course it is. Although I didn't quite understand that one about the Japanese pacemaker, you know, and every time his garage doors went open, every time he... <laughs> That's me all. Thank you. Uh, welcome to Bullseye. Let's meet our contestants. Here we go. <laughs> How you doing? Hi. Hi nice Jim. to see you. Welcome nice from, to see you. from Anthorn. Anthorn, yes. That's west of Carlisle. That's correct. That's yes. right. We're just above where I live, actually. Mm -hmm. Now, you love the countryside. You do a lot of walking, don't you? Yeah, fair yeah. walk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's a lot of beautiful countryside. That's right, yeah. Nice. yeah. And this is your lovely wife, Eileen. Mm -hmm. uh, Eileen, how did you meet? <coughs> well, um, Don used to live in London. Yeah. And his pub landlord moved up north and yeah. bought my local. So Don came up on holiday yeah. and I met him there. I see. And there's a fascinating story. When you first went out together, you, you took Eileen home, didn't you, Don? That's right, I took Eileen and then, home. Go on, and yeah. then he left to go home, didn't he? <laughs> he? He left to go home, and I put the light out and locked the door, and a couple of minutes later, there's a knock on the door, and I thought, well, who's that this time yeah. in the morning? It was him. He couldn't find his way back to the pub. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you finished up taking him so back to the pub? So I had to take him back to the yeah. pub. That's fine. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, it's nice to have you with us up there in the northwest of England. Mm -hmm. Now then, young Neil. Now, before we go any further, Neil, he's been pestering me. I've got to tell it home. I'll tell you this. He's been saying, whatever happens, I must wave to the kids at home. We shouldn't call them kids, should we? Wave to the children. You, Neil, you're on, you're on one. Do your little bit. Go on. How are you, Jamie? How are you, Kirsty? Is that who it was? <laughs> and Dan. <laughs> that's, that's the wife. <laughs> that's the wife, yeah. That's <laughs> awful. <laughs> that is, isn't that terrible, girls? <laughs> Last of the list is the wife. Anyway, you've done it, that's lovely. It's uh, John, you, you were from... The, the accent, it uh, uh, doesn't say on here where you're from. It's a mid Midlands accent. Charlton. Sure. We're from this near Leek and Staffordshire. Oh, Leek? Oh, yeah. Well, Cheriton, actually, I'm from, not Leek. Right, we've got to get that right. Yes, We've got Cheriton. the kids right now. Yes, got the, <laughs> yes and the wife. We've got ten children yeah. and the wife. We've done all that. <laughs> so you can go home safely. <laughs> right. John? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. John, you, you did the audition, didn't yeah. you, for this? And yeah. Go on, tell us. Well, um, we're doing all right. We're going around and Mickey is asking the questions. and Come up and where's the Sea of Storms? And I went completely blank. Sea of Storms? Sea of Storms. Well, I know now it's on the moon, but I answered North Atlantic. <laughs> <laughs> but you obviously must have done all right to stay with you, you, you're with well, us now, but yeah. I reckon it was that answer that got it us. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, yep. how are you? So, so. <laughs> Life's a big adventure for you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you're from Newbury, the pair of you, aren't you? Fruity oh, yeah. pair. You're a county dart player. The B-side, yeah. The B-side, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we always... We say that. Sometimes we think it's unfair saying that because it does put the pressure on you a little bit when you're actually on the 12 million watching you tonight. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> How are you, Lawrence? Hello, Jim. Now, Lawrence, I'm going to ask Lawrence a question now. <laughs> we have a little, a little practice during the day and we, and we give them questions. Obviously, not the same questions. And I asked Lawrence this question. Are you ready for this? Yeah. If you get this wrong, I'll send you home. <laughs> <laughs> what is the date of the 366th day in a year? Um. <laughs> forgotten again! <laughs> you haven't forgotten again, have you? No. 29th. We so. didn't know it in real <laughs> We've pulled his leg ever since. Never mind. <laughs> Give our contestants a warm round of applause. Well done. Just to remind you about your bonus lights again, all three of you. £30 a question. Let's play the game. Here we go, Eileen, for Dom. Uh, Britain, please, Jim. All right, my love. Come on, Dom. Britain would like. It's a bullseye. £200. Well done. <laughs> well done. And you might well smile, Ivan. That's a marvellous start for you. For another £30, which vegetable is the national emblem of Wales? The leek. The leek is right. And you should know that, John, shouldn't you? Coming from there. Right, another £30 you've got. We move on. John for Neil. Uh, faces, please, Jim. Faces. Come on, Neil. Faces. It's gone in places. So here's your question. No bonus, but early days, John. Don't worry about that. Places. Which American city is the home of the Mardi Gras festival? New Orleans. New Orleans is right. Yes, the home of jazz. Good. £30 you've got. Lawrence for Phil. Sport, please, Jim. Sport we'd like, Phil. £30. For another £30, Lawrence, what is the date of the... <laughs> <laughs> I won't give you that one. <laughs> what sport takes place at Hickstead, Lawrence? Hor um, horse jumping. Yes, show jumping. Fine, that gets you £30. There we are at the end of the first round. £230 for Eileen and Don, £30 for John and Neil, and £60 for Lawrence and Phil. Well played. <laughs> All right. Now we move on. Now this is quite interesting. What are they going to do now? How are they going to play this category board? £50 a question. A little bit more difficult, and we've got left the subjects that are lit. Here we go again, Eileen. Showbiz, please, Jim. Showbiz with light, Don. <laughs> £50. For £50, by what name is the British actor born Maurice Micklewhite better known? Michael Caine. Michael Caine, good girl, gets you £50. We move on. John for Neil. Uh, faces, please, Jim. Faces. Faces with light. £50. For another £50, John, look at your monitors. For £50, John, can you tell me who that is? There is a light on, John. <coughs> Bullies ended your time. Eileen? Elaine Stritch. Elaine Stritch is right. Gets you a £50 bonus. Well played, madam. Right, we move on. Lawrence, for Phil. History, please, Jim. History. Come on, Phil. Not. It's in books, but you're okay. The subject's still there. So here we go for fifty pounds on books. Who is the author of the controversial book Spy Catcher, Lawrence? Um, Take your time. Is it right? Yes, it is right. Can you give me his first Peter name? Peter Wright. Yes, that's fine. Fifty pounds you've got. Well done, Lawrence. There we are at the end of that round. Eileen and Don with three hundred and eighty pounds. John and Neil with eighty pounds, and Lawrence and Phil with one hundred and ten pounds. <laughs> £100 a question here, of course. More difficult. And the subjects we've got left are affairs, history, words and spelling. For the last time in game one, Eileen, for Don. History, please, Don. History. Come on, Don. £50. He has played very well for you, Eileen, hasn't he? Yes, it's all that fell walking. For £100, who led the Russian Bolsheviks in the October Revolution of 1917? You've no light on. Lenin. Again? Lenin. For £100. Well done. Excellent. We move on. John for Neil. Uh, affairs, please, Jim. Affairs we'd like. Affairs, Neil. £50. 
For another hundred pounds, John, a flotilla of boats took part in Operation Deep Scan in Scotland in October 1987. What were they hoping to find? Loch Ness Monster. He's absolutely right, sir. Get you a hundred pounds. Well done. We move on. Lawrence for Phil. Words, please, Jim. Words we'd like. Come on, Phil. Words. Yes. Fifty pounds. For another hundred pounds, Lawrence, the British nation is sometimes said to be xenophobic. What is xenophobia? It begins with an X. Don't know, Jim. No idea. Thanks for saving the time. Look, John? Is it afraid of foreigners? It is, sir. Get you a hundred pound bonus. Well done. Good. Well, you've scored £160 to 530 That difference can be caught because the three dart players compete in three rounds of darts. It's pounds for points and we're over to Tony. Right, right on. It's one. Treble 20. And 20, 81. OK, Neil. Eight to one to beat. It's one. Twenty. And five. Twenty six. Okay, Phil. Eight to one to beat. It's one. Double 20. Another 20, 81, so it's a tie, Jim. So what we do now, boys, we ask Don and Phil to throw again. Off you go, Don. It's one. Treble 20. 20, 81 again. Consistent, Don. OK, Phil. 81. Treble five and twenty, which is forty. So Don takes the first round, Jim. Okay, Eileen, this is for eighty-one pounds. The painting titled La Gioconda is better known by another name. What is it? The Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa gets you eighty-one pounds. Gives us six hundred and eleven pounds, playing three hundred and thirty pounds, playing one hundred and sixty pounds. Back to Tony. Going well done. Second round. It's five. Twenty. And treble nineteen. That's eighty-two. It's eighty-two. Neil. Twenty. 20, another 20, 60, still 82 to beat, Phil. <laughs> 20, 20, another 20, 60, so the second round to Don. OK, Eileen, he's played well for you, hasn't he? He really has done well. Listen to this for another £82. What nationality was the ballet dancer Anna Pavlova? Russian. Is right, gets you another £82. Gives you £693, playing £330, playing £160. Back to Tony. OK, Dan. <laughs> Final round. One. 20. And treble one, 24. <laughs> okay, Neil, 24 to be. Twenty. Five. And treble twenty, eighty-five. Well done, Neil. OK, Phil, 85 to beat. 
20. Treble 20. And 10, which is 90, and takes the final round. Well played, well played. Lawrence, if in a pub you ordered a pint...